Today's evidence was as much about how the Conservative Party handled Nigel Evans' behaviour as the behaviour itself. One alleged victim told the court that he'd been staying at the MP's constituency home in Lancashire and sleeping on the sofa in 2009. The man said he woke up to find Mr Evans sexually assaulting him. From the witness box he said, I immediately pushed Mr Evans and he pretty much flew across the furniture. The matter was referred to Conservative Chief Whip Patrick McLaughlin, who, according to the alleged victim, seemed irritated. He sighed, huffed and blew from time to time. He said, what do you want to happen now? My response was, I thought Mr Evans should resign from his seat as an MP. The alleged victim told members of the jury that Mr McLaughlin's response was dismissive, saying that it couldn't be done, that the timing wasn't right and that he'd have difficulty explaining why an MP had left his seat with a general election approaching. Earlier, the court heard about an alleged assault at the Imperial Hotel in Blackpool during the Conservative Party conference in 2003. Former Conservative councillor Mark Formosa told court he'd witnessed a fracas in a bar at the hotel and had to help physically restrain the MP who had put his hand down the front of a man's trousers. He said... I saw the younger man thrashing about wildly from side to side, trying to wrench himself free from Mr Evans' grip. Nigel Evans, a former deputy speaker, denies nine charges relating to seven alleged victims, including a charge of rape. He denies all of them. Mike McCarthy, Sky News, Preston Crown Court.